Hey Scorpio, this is Evelyn. This is your read for Scorpio Sun, Moon and Rising for the month of July 2022. We have the Wild Unknown Animal deck, the guidebook for the, just to set the tone, the Lenormand Reverie as well. And then we're going to do the read with the Gilded Tarot and Clarifiers with the Rider Waite Mini, Upright and Reversals with these two. It is a general reading. If you'd like a more personalized reading, you can check out my info below, as well as my website, twinflames3344.com. I have a CD out there also called Ashes, Twin Towers to Twin Flames by Evelyn Stainthorpe, if you want to check that out. So let's get going here and set the tone. I've already pre-shuffled. I'm just going to shuffle a little bit more. And again, this is for Scorpio. My reads are really long this month for whatever reason. I guess it needs to happen, but... They've all been going over an hour, so be prepared. If you listen for 15 minutes, you'll get information, and if you listen for the whole time, you'll get information as much as you want or as much as you're guided to. All right, so for Scorpio, for the month of July 2022, and by the way, we started at 1243, which is the Hanging Man and the Three of Cups coming together, enjoy, hanging out perhaps. All right, and this just flipped right out, the hummingbird. So this is clearing the air. Um, this is also about high vibration. And we have Leo as well here with the lion. And lion came, that came up kind of an underlying way, not really for Virgo and Libra, but it was like just underneath the underlying energy for both of them. So perhaps um, these are two people being stubborn, not wanting to talk to each other. But again, this one's very high vibrational, clearing the air over here. And Lion may be just very calm, enjoying other energies over here, or dealing with a mouse who may be nervous or scared and hiding. There may be a seal broken or something. Oh, that's so funny. I was just thinking, I'm not a, I don't have much Scorpio in my chart, but um, I've been dealing with some water issues. And when I was dealing with the basement last month, I found a baby mouse. He was so cute. It was a tiny. It was like literally this this big. It was tiny. And um, here's like a break in the seal, like the water leak, that kind of same thing. So there could be a break in some kind of uh, seal or a leak. Maybe there was a leak of confidentiality, or somebody stole something or did something wrong, and now they're hiding because they're scared. Um, there could be a Leo protecting a child or a mouse. That could be me. My Venus is in Leo. Um, but this also could be the collective awakening, but with the CERN going on today, maybe there's a crack in the seal, so it's really about keeping your energy very high vibrational, being strong, and not going into fear, because that's what they want, that lowers your vibration and your energy. If you're in 5D vibration and above, dark energies can't affect you. Nature and love protect you. If you fall into sadness, anger, frustration, anything that's fear, which is not love, then others can manipulate you and get into your energy. So they're calling you not to go into this energy of fear. There's nothing to fear, right? Nothing to fear but fear itself. All right, so we have Leo, which is also ego energy, even though he looks very calm there, or she. Um, the bottom of the deck for you is the fire ants. So this is the wound. It's the accident. It's the famous person that everybody wants a piece of, right? And there's the old whale who's exhausted. And maybe everybody wants a piece of them. And this could definitely be an older person who does everything for everyone and maybe they can't do it anymore. This could also be someone who's in the hospital. Right? And, you know, it could be a grandparent. Um, the flame just went out. Maybe you just lost a, a family member. It could be a grandparent. I don't feel like it's anybody young. But I'm sorry if you lost someone. So let's set the tone as well with the Lenormand Riverie. It could be too anxiety, like the mouse could be anxiety from the high vibrations because if you're not used to the high vibrations, they can make you feel ungrounded and it's not that there's anything wrong with it. You just need to ground, you know, you need to touch nature. It's the way the universe is trying to force you to do what's natural to you in the first place that we never do because we're always inside. We don't ground. We don't touch the earth. We don't touch the trees. We don't take a moment out to be peaceful and look at the birds and the flowers and the animals that are in our yard who are telling us everything that's going on in our world. 
So let's see what else is coming up for Scorpio, July 2022. Why does Scorpio have these energies up there? All right, so we have the power man. He looks a little bit angry there, but we have the Ace of Cups here. So he could be in love or um, feeling dumped on as well, could it be both ends of the spectrum. We have the 28, which is the choice of path, but also can be twin flame energy. This is the man from Mars, right? Women are from Venus type of energy. And the Knight of Cups taking a risk or maybe a gambling issue there. Um, regarding the Page of Cups, we have two uh, childlike energies here, the Knight of Cups and the Page of Cups with the 39 and 40. And again, the masks of vulnerability of the child. And the one, this could be one child, you know, with risky behavior and the other one who's shy um, but may have multiple faces. Maybe they're shy and vulnerable at the same time. They're a spoiled, entitled brat. You know, you can show both energies in that. This also could be pets, but there's a lot of uh, heart energy here along with this man who could be angry or just trying to stand in his power up to the kids who may be taking advantage of him. And then here's um, some more water energy with the moon. So it could be uh, cancer energy there too. And there's the other spectrum, the loving man and the family man, right? So it's like the two sides of the coin, his angry side, his loving side, and perhaps the children or family in between, the journey, this could be on vacation as well. And then here underneath could be work. Maybe if you work, you know, this could be a mortician and embalmment. So this could be a mortician or it could be a doctor and patient, Dr. Jackal and Hyde, the dance between the masculine and the feminine, and one finding their sovereignty and not allowing other people to save them or hurt them not allowing themselves to be in victim mentality. And there's the child in transition, the page of swords perhaps, this can also be a message of a new beginning regarding a death or a transformation or the need to learn how to dance in your sovereignty and not be codependent on others. So that's coming up for Scorpio. And I don't know if I can fit all these cards up here, but let's see here. So you've got the lion and the, it's kind of like the, like the I forgot, the. The lion and the lamb or the lion and the mouse is coming up here, right? The mouse that takes the thorn out of the lion's paw. And so they're forever, ever grateful for them. So unlikely pairs. All right. So again, we have two childlike energies or pet or just um, water energies. There's definitely, yeah, I think all three, Pisces, Scorpio and Cancer coming up for you guys. And again, there could be a death and Scorpio is guided by death, money and taxes and sex. So there could, you know, cause it's all about profound transformation. So this underlying energy could be affecting you regarding a death or illness in the family and, or just the dance between the masculine and feminine and the different ways that they, that they deal with each other. And that can be your own inner masculine and feminine as well. And learning to reconcile the two sides of yourself but there's sovereignty definitely coming up regarding that. And then the wound. So there's definitely hospital energy that's been coming up today with Virgo and Libra too. Um, you see the wound and the hospital kind of energy, or this can be virus, bacteria, all that kind of energy coming up. And it could be an older person or a child. We have both in both decks. We have an old person over here with the whale. And then over here, we have a young person with child. So whatever the case may be for you, uh, this is for Scorpio. Now, since Lion, the Leo came up, that man, that power man could be a Leo. And he may have two sides of himself. Or just being strong. Or thinks he's being strong and standing up to the children. Or maybe he is, because maybe they were taking advantage of him, walking all over him. This also could be two siblings, you know? One who's like the fiery one, and then the other one who's very loving, like in their water could be a, a Scorpio. All right, Scorpio, what's going on for July 2022? We have Dr. Jacqueline Hyde there. The lovers just fell out and it came out upright. And that could be two men in a relationship as well. But it's coming up as the Dr. Jekyll and Hyde type of energy. Two sides of oneself. One more shuffle. And we have Scorpio and Leo coming up. They're both fixed signs and then a lot of water. <sighs> Scorpio, July 22. Scorpio, July 22. Okay. The first card up for you, Scorpio, is the imprisonment. This has to do with anxiety 
which is that mouse energy, being scared, hiding, even though you can take yourself right out of there, choosing to be in that fear state. And literally somebody could be in prison as well. You know, did a child get arrested or um, maybe there's a, a pet who did something wrong and now they're, they're being kept, you know, until they figure the situation out. The challenge is the Knight of Wands reversed, the player falling short. This can be a player. This can be a kid who did something wrong. This can be someone who fell off the horse. This also can be someone who had good intentions but fell short on energy or someone who, who's paralyzed, hopefully not. But this also can be someone paralyzed by their own passions and can't function. They feel imprisoned because of the passion that they feel. The foundation for you is the, the wounded warrior surrendering, which is good. Right? This is someone on their last leg, refusing to give up the battle, um, protecting their wounds. And here's somebody surrendering, which in this situation, uh, this could also be someone giving themselves in or turning themselves in in the recent past because of something that they did. So the recent past here is the imbalance, the inequity or scam here, not sharing. And crowning for you, Scorpio, is the seven of wands reversed, feeling um, defenseless to the energies coming in or feeling defenseless to some a group attacking or someone ganging up on you, you know, the family or friends or work ganging up on you. And it can just be energetic. It doesn't have to be anybody specific because we have a lot of intense energies coming in right now from the sun and perhaps CERN is supposed to get turned back on today. So if you're not familiar with CERN, you can look it up. It's the collider under the Alps between the Swiss and French Alps based in Switzerland um, that is dealing with antimatter and all sorts of, you know, creating black holes and all that kind of thing. So uh, we don't know what, you know, whether that's going to end up being good or bad, but the messages I was getting yesterday was that I, there's definitely negative energies there, but it's not all negative and there may be secondary energies that are positive in nature that no one's actually expecting to happen. And I feel like some of that already happened. So what's coming up um, for you, Scorpio, in the near future is the Page of Pentacles reversed. Um, this can be um, a child, you know, who needs help, money, opportunity. It can be an invitation that you didn't get. Um, it can be the opportunist or a missed opportunity. It can be a business or a new endeavor you can't get off the ground or that somebody else can't get off the ground. And then this is how you're seeing yourself. You're seeing yourself as the great friend, the great soulmate, or in the energy with a soulmate or child that you love, All right? So this can be your child or a missed opportunity with uh, someone surrendering over here, feeling imprisoned or being imprisoned over here. Um, something that's not fair or somebody with challenges, addictions, or who fell off the wagon or is just paralyzed by their own passions. Um, and then, and if you are paralyzed in some way, you know, that could feel imprisoning to you as well. And what's around you or how others see you is very different than this because this is a very sweet, innocent, loving energy and you may be seen or this energy is around you um, being very realistic right? This is very loving kind of dreamy energy, whereas this is not. It's like dumping the dreams to be more realistic, having lots of options. It could be finding the one and letting go of the rest. Maybe you're having a yard sale, all must go, dumping multiple loads, dumping uh, emotional attachments that don't serve you. But this is, you know, not believing in the dream anymore in a way too. It's being more realistic or ending the confusion of having too many options by letting go of some of that stuff but it's all watery here for you, but the rest of the read is not. The block here for you, Scorpio, is the High Priestess reversed, which can be a secret passion, and it also could be the need to use your intuition, right? To go within, to meditate. This also can be a person who's a, a Pisces reversed, or perhaps a Divine Feminine reversed. Um, but again, it could be a lack of integrity as well, and this is your block, it's not happening it's your fears, right? You're challenged by this Knight of Wands reverse, whether that's yourself or somebody else, or their actions, and your block is this Pisces reversed energy or the need to use your intuition or secret passion. 
And there could be a secret passion for this page of pentacles reversed as well, which could be your child or somebody else. What's coming up here at the end is the king of pentacles reversed. All right, so now it looks like there's a father and child here, or two are signs, one younger than the other. These could be siblings as well, just one's much younger than the other. Um, but they're very much like each other. And why are they both reversed when you're seeing your energy is very positive and loving and soulmate, children oriented and all that? Because it's very sweet energy the way you're seeing yourself. And we have a couple, like these could be different children. You're feeling challenged. You could be feeling challenged by a secret passion for sure because you have this and this. But you also have this and this. So if you're, this is your family and this is a secret passion, that could be happening as well. Um, the, um, and they could be ungrounded or have lost money or lost jobs or just be all about money. Maybe you're seeing yourself as all about the love and the children and the innocence and you see the people around you as being all about the time, money, and energy, that that's all they care about. Um, what's connected to what's left hanging in limbo for you is the Scorpio card, the death card, big transformation, dark night of the soul, endings here, or that can just be a Scorpio person, right, who's all about the money. Um, and then uh, what's hanging in limbo then you read is walking away. Walking away from all this emotion put into something, the mess in the yard, the people who never clean up and expect you to do it. Or is that is that you walking away? Is that somebody walking away from you? It can go both ways. So we're going to clarify, every, clarify everything and get to the bottom of that. And again, there's definitely masculine issues up there in the header. You know, we have the lion and the mouse, right? The one who's really powerful and strong and the scared little mouse. And again, the strong, angry man and the loving, sweet man with a rose. So there's those polarities coming up and that high vibration of the hummingbird of needing to raise the vibration to clear the air. Perhaps for the mouse here who's hiding with some kind of uh, crack in the seal or crack in the collective or or maybe the door is just cracked open and the mouse is like peeking in, hoping nobody finds them there. And I just watched a movie last night, which I forget the title of it, uh, where they're stuck in, uh, they're stuck in, um, you know, a basement, kind of a safe place for uh, like three months. It was a really good movie, by the way. It's on Netflix. It just came up, I think, on the feed. I don't know if it's new or not, but... But it's that same kind of energy of this mouse, of like ha being able to see just through the, the crack between the boards or the crack in the door, um, but they're afraid that they don't know any minute somebody could come in and find them. It's that same type of energy as the movie I saw last night. So um, I'm going to put a few cards out for the end of the read in case we need them, which I usually do. And um, maybe you watch that movie. Maybe that's why it's coming up in your read. It could be as simple as that. Let's see here. All right. So the bottom of the deck, we have the Four of Swords reversed. And let's see what's underneath there, too. All right. So it looks like there was some partying going on, like taking a load off, you know, vacation or whatever. But there's a fallen angel over here. This is someone who loses their temper or losing patience. There's jealousy here, which can be, that's a typical Scorpio trait. So somebody's juggling. And that can just be at work. See, somebody's at work. Everything's good at work. They're juggling, doing the, the the daily routine, and it can be juggling people. But I'm not seeing an affair out here, but it could be something emotional. Um, I mean, we do have this energy here, but I'm not getting all the threes out there. This is jealousy or rejection or insincerity of someone, the schmoozer who kisses up to everybody, expecting them to do to love them, but they don't give love in return. They just act like it. And then there's the fallen angel, the one who loses their temper or someone losing patience, literally, or Sagittarius reversed. And this can be Scorpio, for sure. And then we have the coming together to celebrate and joy. You know, this can be taking a load off, dumping the burdens and responsibilities, or confession, coming clean, but it feels more like just, you know, letting go of responsibilities to come together and have fun for the holidays, July 4th in America. And then here is the Knight of Swords coming in with a delivery or the truth, 
could be an air sign person or just the action of delivery coming into the party or get the get together that brings bad news or makes the family unhappy or it ends an emotional cycle of unhappiness with the queen of wands reversed who may be having trouble sleeping um, lacking trust right here's the lack of trust they can't sleep because they don't trust someone's going to hurt them or that um, someone's going to break their heart um, this is a lack of sleep and rising above or awakening and coming out whether that's the queen of wands or awakening to the queen of wands reversed here and the unhappy family with the knight of swords coming in with the truth after coming together in a party so maybe you ran into somebody and they brought something up that really uh, touched something in you regarding your unhappiness or somebody else's unhappiness around you someone not being able to sleep or someone going through an awakening so that's your underlying energy it's kind of a lot with Sagittarius so the Queen of Wands reverse could be Sagittarius. We also have an air sign perhaps here. And just like taking a, after taking a load off at a party. All right, so okay. So coming together with others where the Knight of Swords comes in, that could be a messenger of truth or the Knight in Shining Armor. But it doesn't look like it's, they don't look like they're delivering bad news, but it might be a harsh truth where then the family's unhappy or about an unhappy family or an ending of an emotional cycle with the queen of wands reversed who's in a negative aspect here right she could be abusive physically or abusive to herself or she could be sick or sick and tired and of rising above or not sleeping or the need to come out in an awakening all right scorpio looks a little profound for you this month so in the, the energy, let's see what you have. Definitely Sagittarius reversed coming up. You have Pisces reversed here and Scorpio upright. And you are seeing yourself as upright, really sweet energy actually. So you're coming up as upright, but there may be issues with Sagittarius, Pisces, and Earth energies here. So that could be all three signs, but they're not coming up specifically here yet anyway. A Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus. You know, maybe you just want to spend time with your kids and your partner or your kids only want to spend time making money or um, giving their time to other people, not you. But you're, you seem happy in your energy here, dumping emotional attachments or maybe you're having a yard sale because they're literally sitting in the yard. And you are the wounded warrior, so perhaps surrendering some things that you didn't necessarily want to get rid of. But you're doing it. It's like kind of like detoxing that. So there's definitely some negative energies in the recent past with a lack of sharing or a scam or um, an imbalance or an inequity in a relationship. And you don't have a whole lot of signs here. Like I said, um, just like Saggy and Pisces reversed with you. and then the earth here. So the underlying energy of the four of swords, um, there's, and that's a painful ending or ending pain. It can be a massage, like if you're not sleeping well or you're going through an awakening, it could be you know, treating yourself to a massage. Maybe that triggered an awakening or triggered sleeplessness because you're going through something, but it also can be betrayal and death here. It could be a painful death here. Oh, look at that was between there because I didn't see the two of cups between them. So instead of the painful death, which still can be a painful death here, this is also Scorpio energy. So it, it's, you know, there's it's Scorpio connecting with pain. You know, pain's very, um, Scorpio is very good at deep transformation, which often involves pain, right? Um, this is two people coming together. Perhaps there's an air energy over here with Scorpio. And we have air again here along with the Queen of Wands reversed who may be in pain, maybe because she can't sleep or she's going through an awakening and connecting with Scorpio or a death or an ending or some kind of big transformation. 
And this Scorpio energy is, you know, ready to walk right over anyone who gets in their way, including the re religious leader. The kids are like, oh, I can't believe they're doing this, but they're being who they are. And I'm not getting this read being about death, but there is the death card here, but that Scorpio card. So it doesn't have to be a death at all, because it could just be Scorpio transformation, but it also could be the death of a King of Pentacles reverse here. But it feels more like an ending because somebody's walking away. All right, so in the recent past, you have the Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles, some kind of inequity in the relationship. And here's the Queen of Wands. And the Queen of Wands is reversed here now. So this could be a fire sign with Aquarius in their chart or in a wake-up call or making announcements, making calls, waking up the dead, right? The Red Cross, maybe they're doing Red Cross work and helping others in other countries, um, delivering truth, um, triumphing, um, serving somebody their crown on a, a silver platter there, and that could be coming to someone who's hanging out, and this could be Pisces or Capricorn for me. Um, perhaps took a fall or f and they're hanging out, right? So someone's coming to visit someone who fell, so they're just being still. This could be someone also who fell from grace or is lacking faith, foolish behavior. And we have Aquarius, like I said, Pisces or Capricorn, and then Aries reversed over here. And this is the truth coming from, or this energy trying to triumph over this other energy hanging out, um, perhaps, you know, feeling like they screwed up kind of energy. But there is inequity here, so there's definitely someone giving their truth or making an announcement to someone else who's hanging out in limbo or took a fall and is healing, but it seems to be not fair. And there's the devil coming up right after the full reverse, which is detoxing, codependency, addiction. And there's the devil and the angel, but the angel's still upright, the devil's not. So the it's like the good side won. The angel won over the devil. And that can be within yourself, right? Your good side won over your bad side. And this could be someone who fell off the wagon. But ultimately, it could be someone ultimately, you know, their their addiction took them away. But for others, it's just your own, you know, inner demons and coming out where the angel wins. Even if you fall, it's okay. We definitely have the Queen of Wands there, whether that's you as a Scorpio fire in your chart or somebody else that you're dealing with. And the inequity of the situation between, perhaps if that's you, Scorpio, you're dealing with, like I said, maybe you have Aquarius in your chart or you're with Aquarius. And then over here is Capricorn or Pisces and Aries reversed and again Capricorn. So Pisces, Capricorn, and Aries all reversed. No, nope. Capricorn's upright or Pisces upright, whichever one you take that as. And then so is Sagittarius here. But you're seeing yourself as that angelic kind of energy. So you might have Sagittarius in your chart. So it's not fair that someone can't sleep or someone is awakening and going through pain in a relationship or ending pain in a relationship. Um, you might even be leaving a partnership, and it can just be work or a friend, or it can be a relationship, but not necessarily. So you have the wounded warrior reversed here, and the foundation here, which is coming up is the Queen of Pentacles reversed post-war. So whatever she's been through, whether it's uh, you know an internal war, a virus, um, a battle with whatever, with sleep lack of sleep or going through an awakening and rising above and then with the king of cups reversed maybe um finally over about a war between these two people the queen of pentacles reversed and the king of cups reversed and the queen of pentacles re reversed maybe surrendering or giving themselves in they may be turning themselves in the king of cups may be walking away so here's that walking away energy King of Cups reversed and Scorpio. So it's definitely Scorpio walking away and within, walking away from all they've built. 
perhaps a talk about finding peace or moving to peace or about um, a boat or traveling, talking about traveling and healing, apologizing, forgiveness, or like leaving without even trying to work it out. It could be someone trying to make amends, but someone doesn't even want to hear it. And there's the king of swords. All right, so someone's leaving to find peace or travel or go vacation um, to heal. Um, perhaps to get away from the Empress upright and the King of Swords upright. So whether the Queen of Swords is the one going away or she's tried to talk them into staying, but they needed to go away to heal and not be around the Queen of Swords and King of Swords, perhaps their parents and the grandmother, perhaps. So that might come up again because I'm not putting them out right here. So what is the central energy, the Eight of Swords? All right, we have some fire energy coming up here. All right, doing hard labor, doing hard time. The, and again, the Knight of Wands, of the player falling short, fell off the wagon, or did something wrong and foolish. So it's coming up as the challenge here. It literally could be somebody in prison um, or imprisoned by their home or an unstable house or home or family. They're all fire energies there, very challenging fire energies. And then Scorpio. So Scorpio is reversed here and Sag is reversed. So you could have Sag in your chart or that could be somebody else. And this can be after sudden events, epiphany or some kind of sexual exchange or, and again, this could be the player, you know, like wanting a one night stand or cheating, that kind of thing. Or this can be trying to avoid a disaster, but it's imprisoning you because apparently you're very passionate about somebody, you know, your soulmate whether that's the person you're with or the person that you're thinking about. could be somebody different. And here, I'm not going to put these down, but the Ten of Pentacles family, business, or community here that's upright and positive, that dream kind of family or community or business, um, has new information here that may have knocked them off balance regarding injustice of, of somebody messing up or tripping up or um, dropping the act breaking patterns, right? Falling out in the past, a bad childhood, coming out with that, children being difficult, and feeling imprisoned by all of this, right? But getting over it. So, there's injustice coming up here with Libra reversed as well as the imbalance over here, which is that same type of energy. So someone feels like it's unfair. And you don't, I don't feel like you're in your, that energy right now, but somebody else may feel like it's not fair or an imbalanced relationship, right? That falling out, that bad childhood. This could be a past life soulmate too that you feel like you should be with um, and feeling imprisoned by that. So it's literally telling you this is the reason that you're feeling imprisoned is that you you don't have this except that's who you're saying that's who I am so why is this not here for me why is the other person not seeing it the same way the challenge is the knight of wands reversed and the world their world's upside down this also could be divine feminine in the 5d a pisces reversed the need for closure the need to come full circle, wrap things up that is almost done, but not quite there. Regarding the King of Wands reversed, who may be um, sick, tired, sick and tired, or he could be abusive. Maybe his world got turned upside down. He Maybe he fell off the wagon, right? Maybe he got dizzy and he fell. And the Queen of Swords was talking for him on his behalf. I was just getting to that. He's, he's saying, she warned me about this. I don't know who she is, but she warned him about that. Maybe she was telling him that maybe you shouldn't leave because you just got out of, out of the hospital or, you know, there may be something you shouldn't, you know, you shouldn't be doing that's so active and you might need to come back. This also can be um, 
you know, these two watching somebody else leave, which again is was coming up as we don't know. It's like coming up as a fire sign or somebody just wants to find peace because again, this grouping is coming up between the king, the queen of swords and the king of swords. So there's air signs with an empress here too, which could be a mother. And this can be the queen of swords leaving, perhaps with the king of wands reversed. This could be an affair. Maybe she turned his world upside down and they're going away and they're separating and healing from the king of swords who's with the empress. That could be his mother or maybe he found somebody new as well. But here, the king of swords is saying there's an imbalance here. So he's, he's not happy. He's in his truth. He's not being emotional at all. This also could be a lawyer with the uh, empress here. Um, but it's something that's not fair, some kind of inequity, or they're just not, the King of Swords is like a vault. He's not sharing anything. And this is destined as they become sovereign or single. And he definitely could be Libra or have Libra in his chart, or this could be a Libra coming together with this sovereign person who has everything they need, or he's becoming single in a divorce, whether that's you or somebody else's relationship around you. We have the Queen of Swords with the King of Wands reversed. Regarding this Knight of Wands reversed, so these could be the same person. So he might have fallen off the wagon or lost his temper or hurt himself. And again, they could feel paralyzed by his passions or literally was caring too much and really hurt himself. There may be some nerve damage there. And the Queen of Swords may need to speak on his behalf. Regard and this could be a lawyer and this could be a lawyer. Maybe the King of Wands is dealing with the Empress over here. The um, Seven of Wands is the Eight of Wands. A lot of back and forth and energetic exchange, whether it's communication, travel, or literal, literal energy. This can be something like zip lining as well. Um, it's just a lot of movement, and that's no movement. It's like it came to a dead halt. Everything was going along smoothly, a lot of back and forth, and then boom defenseless to the attack the energies are being ganged up on we i thought things were going well and then all of a sudden nothing blocking the hermit reversed or this is somebody you know with alzheimer's or dementia with brain issues maybe they were doing fine and then all of a sudden they're paranoid they feel like people are attacking them they can't move there could be, there's definitely nerve energies coming up here, whether it's brain function, which is nervous system anyway, but there definitely could be someone who's been injured or has Alzheimer's or dementia that all of a sudden um, can't function. And this definitely can be Virgo energy or somebody with Virgo in their chart, not necessarily a Virgo, but someone at a standstill or stuck, unable to function after a lot of back and forth or a lot of work on it. Maybe they did a lot of PT or that kind of stuff at the hospital, but there's still an issue. Feeling defenseless. Again, they you can't deal with the energies or people coming at you all at once, feeling a lot of anxiety, which can just be ascension, right? Because you're not used to that high vibration of the energies coming in and triggering you to release energies that no longer serve you. All right, so this, and the hermit reverse may be coming clean, getting clean, cleaning up their actor space, perhaps after lying, cheating, or stealing, or running away. This can just be a card of risk. It doesn't have to be anything negative. But it is, you know, he does look like he's running. He's taking um, five of the swords and leaving two behind, maybe for good measure or um, as a little reminder, like I'm here to remind you of the mess that you made. So Alanis Morissette coming up here. And regarding a cheating situation here. All right, Scorpio. So what's coming up is the page of pentacles reversed at work. This could be school, church, the hospital, the art center, the gym, anywhere you might co-create you love to be and come together with others. Well, the page of pentacles is reversed here, which is after coming together, somebody needing help maybe this is a child who needs help at the gym they don't know how to use weights you know that kind of thing someone who needs help at school or they need to go to summer school and needing to get together with all that kind of stuff or needing to go to, to their doctor's visit and this could be both the math the father and the son need to go in 
or they need to go in for school counseling of some kind uh, with the uh, King of uh, Pentacles. So that's confirming that, that this child needs to deal with their father at an official place, whatever that may be. Maybe the father just wants them to get um, go to their church or their synagogue, and they don't want to do that, you know. But it has to do with um, needing help. This also could be somebody who missed their opportunity after coming together with the King of Pentacles at work. It didn't work out. And then again, this could be a parent who brought their kids to work to see if they could give them some summer work or whatever, but it didn't work out. Or the child just is not interested at all. But again, the King of Pentacles is coming up with the chariot reversed, which is feeling really broken. Um, a breakup, a break down. This could be a car issue or travel issues. Break in, a break in, a break out, a breakthrough. All those things can come up with this. This is also, you know, the Sphinx energy comes up in here. Um, answering a question with a question. And then there's the Sphinx energy with the CERN, which is in that area as well, underground. And this could be somebody on the war path as well, but I don't feel like he is. And that's Cancer energy as well. And maybe this is somebody, this is getting cancer follow-up at the hospital, perhaps, or following up with uh, your vehicle. Maybe your vehicle has cancer. <laughs> so it doesn't have to be someone with cancer. It's just uh, that energy of stuck. This is the same, this is the trump of this energy, the Knight of Pentacles, of just being blocked completely, stuck, unable to function, unable to go anywhere, unable to make a next move. And that's coming up as defenseless to that, imprisoned, anxiety, feeling imprisoned wherever you are or wherever somebody else is. You see yourself as that Six of Cups. Why? Because it wasn't before. This was a negative past a negative of falling out in the past, your children being difficult with you. This is also the past returning. So now you have it back again, right? That negative past making you feel imprisoned, which is coming up here. So that's the second time they came up together. And this is about um, recovering from regret, loss, guilt and shame, not letting go of the past. And now we're getting over that, getting over the imprisonment, the anxiety, of being separated from someone that you feel close to or that you thought was your soulmate or is. It can be siblings, it can be a lover, it can be your children, it can be your best friend, whatever it is for you. And again, here's you working, getting over the loss through work in order to find, it's like just, even if this other person isn't in your life, allowing yourself to be in that energy with the fond memories and not allow it to take you down a negative path. And here's working to align, to get your ducks in a row. And perhaps the Knight of uh, Cups is, all, is preparing them to offer some love to somebody, even if they're defensive. Like not allowing somebody else to take the ability to love away from you. So even if they don't want to love you back, oh, you're going to express your love anyway, even if they're defensive to it. That's okay. I'm still going to be me. I'm still going to offer love. And here's the Knight of Swords reversed, who may be holding their tongue, but they definitely have something to say. This could be verbal abuse as well. So it's like the Knight of Cups, which can be you, may definitely ex be expecting some kind of negative rebuttal or attack in return. But you're prepared for that because this is someone who you see is very close to you. And there could be the energy of a lack of affection or a breakup here. So you, maybe you don't know everything on the other side of this, right? This also could be a Gemini here who's verbally abusive. Or just this person may, may, you know, may not be so cooperative or respond in the way you want them to because of a breakup or lack of affection in the past. But again, you're seeing yourself as fond memories. And around you is that Seven of Cups reversed, which is a divorce or being more spiritual and outside of the box. This could be a break in contract or a break from a religion, a break from the old boys club, the traditional way, societal norms of doing things, 
of guidance and commitment. Maybe your way of commitment is not the same as somebody else's. And then the page of pentacles reversed. And this can be a child. It can also be a missed opportunity or, an, or a, a not getting invited because you're divorced or not getting invited to something because you don't share the same religion, you don't share the same traditional roles and not getting invited. And I'm getting Alanis Morissette again, uninvited. So that's from City of Angels. It's making me want to cry. City of Angels. So uh, again, the, the angriness of someone breaking your heart, promising you the world and then leaving you behind and then uninvited, which is that energy of, you know, of being a, a angel and not being invited on this earthly plane, wanting to come in. This could be abortion. This could be an abortion from the past. And this could, this is the energy uh, oh, reconciling, right? And this could be, you know, it could be last year, it could be now, it could be, you know, 40 years ago. But reconciling with the energy who wanted to come through you as a child and maybe you had an abortion and, you know, because maybe you were a teenager or whatever. It doesn't matter what the reason was and I'm not judging anybody for that ever. But this is um, you making peace with that, like the soul literally coming into you and explaining to you how it made them feel unwanted and rejected because they want they just wanted to bring you love okay so there's that energy this also could be Taurus energy with the hero font reverse could be, they could have Taurus in their chart and maybe if you had a miscarriage it could be a child reaching out from you to you from beyond to make sure you know that they loved you um, and a lot of times um, uh, in my life, and I've been here around here for a long time, um, I've always heard that um, the children that come in below seven years old and then pass away, they do that to pay karma for their parents. So they literally go through this difficult time with their child and losing their child because they literally offer them a blessed life. And of, often people who go through that kind of pain find a mission in it. So it really does bring them peace and joy in their life. So I'm and spirits connecting with me. So I'm definitely getting that as well. We have the Ten of Cups reversed. It's an unhappy family or the end of an emotional cycle of unhappiness here. And um, again, the energy of this could be leaving a family behind too. Like you know, putting up the family all these years and then finally re realizing that they. They just don't resonate with you and this could be walking away from a family situation that does that you just don't agree with or they are giving you a difficult time all the time so you just don't want to be in that energy anymore and being really present in the moment you know it's like being present and just looking at what you have being grateful for what you have the block here is the high priestess reverse which just flipped over in the deck that is the sunshine. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. This could be a child that you had a falling out with, right? This can be Leo, but it doesn't have to be. You can just reference the joy of your child. And there could be a Pisces here too. So, and you have Leo up there too. So it could be a Leo and a Pisces actually. And these could be pets as well. But the block is about a secret passion or and what that could be your secret passion or your child's secret passion um, for a Leo and maybe this is a Leo and not a Sagittarius reversed could be but Sag is here too with the wounded warrior for sure and we have the Queen of Wands reversed over here too and we have the Queen of Wands reversed and the King of Wands reversed And the King of Wands reverses with that Pisces energy. So yeah, definitely could be um, a Leo and Pisces together. And that's a block for you. Maybe you don't agree with a child's decision on a partner or what they want to do with their life. You're challenged by this Sag energy and Pisces energy. 
um, you know, kind of like falling from grace or lacking in integrity. And here's that sunshine energy of happiness and energy exposure, fun, and then ending the conflict through vacation or just spending time with children or togetherness and starting over again. That everything used to be so, I, it's like you just, like girls just want to have fun. That came up in another read today where you want to go back to when life was a simpler time when you were kids and you could just have fun and not have responsibilities. And then you have the King of Pentacles reversed here. Why? And it's the Three of Wands being present in the moment. Not needing there to be anything waiting for, but just be present in the moment. That can be a gift as well. And this is just being grateful for what you have. So why is the King of Pentacles reversed? He was upright over here. This could be a father that was lost as well. Maybe you're missing your father. Maybe this is you and you're missing your father because they've passed. Maybe the, there's an a anniversary date of a death and it's just bringing up that bond from the past, whether it's a father or somebody else from your past. And even if they're not past, just it's memories, fond memories of the past are coming up. And you're letting go of energies that no longer serve you. And that can be addictions too. So the King of Pentacles reversed, you know, can be that relationship between you and your father. You're so much alike or so connected. Or it can literally be your disconnect from these energies because they're ungrounded and all about the superficial life and you're seeing yourself as all about the heart and the children. But the King of Pentacles reversed is being very present in the moment, seeing what he has. I don't think he feels like he has enough to do what maybe you want from him. Right? Because he's got seven pentacles, not ten pentacles. And maybe he thinks he can't have you unless he's got ten pentacles. Or he doesn't have enough to send a child to college. And he's really worried about that. He's feeling emotionally pushed to his limits. He's purging. Maybe sweating it out. Worried that he won't have enough money by the time he goes to college. Or um, this could be something else as well. Or not having enough for retirement. And maybe he's not telling you about it, right? Not wanting to worry you. Feeling pushed to the emotional limit or pushing buttons of others. This can be you pushing the king of pentacles buttons. Maybe you're pushing his buttons. This could be at work, it doesn't have to be at home, but it can be both. This is somebody getting an ultimatum. You may be giving the King of Pentacles, an ultimatum. Or giving them a choice. Or you wanting to have sex. Maybe you haven't had sex in a bit and you don't know why. And maybe he's just really stressed out. And here's the wounded warrior surrendering. So here again is that energy, which can be this Queen of Wands over here. Surrendering, giving yourself up. Saying, what's the deal? Um, I'm here to offer you I'm letting go of all these so that I can offer you one. It's like offering passion for love, but this is being refused. Because whoever's offering the passion is offering passion, not love. And so this person's saying, aren't I worth more than that? That I want love, not just sex. That could be as well. And Scorpio is very much about sex. So you could be that fiery one who's offering sex, but being denied because somebody feels like they're worth more than that. And this, you may be depressed or coming off arrogant here, stepping up to the plate and telling them how it is. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that death card. Why is the death card there? Is that Scorpio giving an ultimatum to the King of Pentacles reversed? You are not sleeping or rising above. Maybe you're comfortably numb, kind of floating. Um, or going through an awakening. You could be going through dark night of the soul, an awakening to come out um, to about deception or regarding your own deception or at the new moon. 
or to somebody with cancer in their chart or about cancer. And again, the nightmare, the stress, the sleepless nights. And again, it can be regarding a death. It can be a death from the past and missing someone. It can be someone giving an ultimatum, whether it's you to the other or the other to you, regarding I either want this kind of love or I'm not staying. You need to step up to the plate. Some, somebody could be giving an ultimatum, uh, which pushes somebody else to have to process through that, and that could be you, because you could be going through a lot of uh, crying or purging at night or just um, stressed out or stressed out about a death, whether it's a current one or in the past, and perhaps getting help. This could be nurse and aid. A Pisces, that can be Virgo or Aquarius as well. This can be um, learning your psychic abilities, being taught or going to a reader to get information because you're so distraught. You know, this could be somebody withholding or, or um, saving money, saving for a new life or playing hardball here with the magician, right? Saving to, to do something brand new, manifest big with all your tools on board. So saving and not willing to share with others. So that could be somebody around you. And that's, there's uh, Pisces energy coming up there with Gemini, Virgo, Aries can come up with the magician as well. And then there's a page of wands. So it very well could be Aries or any fire sign with the Queen of Cups here, which can be you or another water sign. And that can be mother and child energy manifesting together. So maybe you're gonna do something with your child. Or maybe you wanted to do something with your child, but they weren't willing to do it because here they look excited to manifest. Maybe the child manifests really well and you want to um, join up with them in partnership. But the page, uh, maybe they're passionate about you on a family level, but maybe they don't, you know, they maybe they don't want to work with the father anymore or they don't want to work together. So maybe you're going to work together as the mother and child. Maybe it's a, a more uh, compatible relationship. So what's coming up after that for you, Scorpio, at 57 on the dot there basically was um, and that separation, disappointment, heartbreak. This is someone, you know, can be issues with the eyes or not seeing the light or being blinded by the light. This is about um, being indecisive or not making a decision um, because you're afraid. It's like peace of mind, right? You don't want to be knocked off balance or you're pretending you don't know so you don't have to deal with the situation. This is somebody walking away for peace of mind because of unstable home or family. This can just be a house that's giving you issues as well or moving or visiting. Perhaps the hermit or Virgo energy here. That can be a professional or grandparent as well, shedding light or advising you. And then on a marriage, this is also societal norms and the hierophant, the way things are supposed to be done, but also could be Virgo and Taurus energies here or a marriage and getting marriage counseling here um, for the truth, to get to the truth of things and, and the conflict. So this could just be marital counseling. Um, and then making an announcement or a judgment call after that. So it's like, you know, well, someone's making an ultimatum, someone's saying, suggesting counseling, and then we'll make a judgment after that. If I promise if you go through counseling with me, then if you still wanna leave, then that's fine. And we have the Page of Swords. And this could be um, university counseling as well with a child. So this can be then the Page of Swords with a message to get out there. And again, it can be people who believe in different things and maybe you don't agree with your spouse or your child. And this is someone who's very happy. He's getting his wish. So why do you have the Two of Swords up there? This here, the Two of Swords was reversed. So you know when there wasn't, when there is clarity and information now, it knocks you off balance or this person who walked away. So they don't want to know anymore. They're just, they just want to walk away because there's a lack of stability. Okay. And just, you know, wanting to get back up on the horse and go to move on. And then we have the four of wands, four of wands reversed, which is the emperor reversed 
right? There's instability of the house or home. He may be abusing his power or he could be stepping down from power because he has to retire. He can't function anymore. He might have an injury or some kind of illness. It could be a grandparent. And there is a new passion being offered to him. All right, so there could be a passion offer, whether it's uh, emotional or work, a passion project that's being offered to the emperor reversed. Maybe he's turning it down or maybe he's going into something brand new, whether it's new work, a new relationship. Um, and here's like heaven in their eyes. This is an offer too good to be true that the emperor can't resist. It's ultimately coming from the Page of Cups. Right? He doesn't have a whole lot. Um, but neither one of them are happy doing it alone. So it's like the emperor and the uh, grandchild type of energy coming together. Or this is a message of love. Even if they don't have a lot, I still love you. So it can go either way. Either the page doesn't have a lot or the emperor doesn't have a lot anymore. But the page is still accepting of them. The emperor is still accepting of them. But the emperor may be receiving the help from a child because they may not be able to function for themselves. They may have some medical issues. So, and then the, um, the hermit and the hierophant, which could be two old friends hanging out together regarding injust after injustice of dropping the ball or falling out, breaking patterns, dropping the act, or no, long no longer doing the daily grind. The injustice of imbalance and being knocked off balance and being strong, taming the beast. This can be dealing with pets as well. Maybe your pet, maybe you're walking your pet. My, this happened to my dad when he, he was getting old. Um, you know, when you're work, walking your pet, you can't do it anymore because the pet yanks you and you fall over. And if you're older, you could, you know, break your bones really easily. So again, not getting your wish dissatisfied actually my friend yesterday Scorpio was just telling me that she she keeps losing her balance because she was she had an injury recently in a car accident so this is um, you know not getting your wish not being happy with yourself or not being happy alone and then um, this could be going to the hospital or going to get advice this can be a religious institution as well to get the truth on a situation. Again, it could be marriage counseling. And then to end the conflict and make an announcement either way with a message or give the information to a child who may actually be very happy when they hear. So again, saving, being practical, keeping to yourself, keeping your cards close to your chest, regarding the Page of Cups, offering love uh, from the Ten of Pentacles, dream family over here. So it looks like this, the child is getting their wish, their dream, or this is a message about being welcomed into that dream family, right? The, the Four of Cups guy being welcomed into the wealthy family with an offer of love. And they may not have been the Four of Pentacles. They may have lost a lot in a divorce or something like that and feeling they're not worth enough that this person wouldn't want them. And this is the energy coming up, because of course they love you. And that's coming up for you. All right, I think that's long enough. It's already 103. We're going to give you some oracle cards. And again, who did you have here? Saggy, Pisces reversed. Definitely some air in here, too. You definitely have Earth with the King of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles both reversed, whether they're just ungrounded or... They're not in your life anymore. Or they're, you know, they're all about the time, money, and effort they need to put out at work, and they're not really paying any attention to the emotions in the relationship. And again, like I said, somebody's walking away or threatening to walk away, giving an ultimatum, and then talking about marriage counseling or other kind of uh, coming together. It can be trying to get a child to get bar mitzvah or bat mitzvah or um, to get something that they don't believe in, but the parents do. Um, getting the elders to come talk to them and give them the truth about what it really means. And then we have to end the conflict or end the battle or in a losing battle of making a judgment call, a wake-up call. 
and then the page of swords which can be a child or a message regarding dreams coming true or getting their wish or just learning how to have happiness within oneself no matter what your situation is and so for Scorpio this came right up flirt extend your lighthearted energy to others since you're feeling in that childlike energy and it's safe for you to love open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all and retreat it's time to disconnect from the world and playfulness it's so much about being childish and child in a loving way which you're seeing yourself as so it's definitely coming up as you're seeing the right energy um, you might be dealing with a past life relationship you've known each other before sorry if it's kind of fuzzy there and then the bottom there is rec and this is the same as Libra had reconciliation too so you may have Libra in your chart or be a Libra with Scorpio in your chart and the bottom of the deck is engagement so love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment and it doesn't mean you're getting engaged but it is ascending and the past may have been that the children were affecting your love life so they were kind of inter interfering with your current relationship or your ability to leave a relationship and go on to a different relationship in a marriage um, yep so you're being called to flirt whether that's with your whether it's with your present partner your, your new partner or even with your children maybe one child was keeping you from the rest of the family and now you're spending some more time with the other child there's definitely a past life relationship reconciliation and then from the nature's whispers deck let's see what comes up for you here this is for Scorpio again July July 2022 and remember the cards that we started with you know this is the jackal and hide of a masculine who may come off as a really loving man on one side but maybe has you know never comes home anymore or doing something on the other side or it's just a change in his personality maybe he's being a little bit abusive or whatever it is um, and again we have the lion and then there's a little mouse who's scared of the lion they're hiding <laughs> or they're helping each other out but they look like they're, they're both net in the negative here maybe they thought it would be good to work together but it didn't work out between a father and son or perhaps two siblings who are, have a big age difference and maybe the other person in the relationship was getting neglected because of their work relationship higher ground a big rose which my roses that look like this color keep getting eaten by the deer on the 20th judgment a wake-up call to taking the higher ground taking the higher ground contemplation the 29 is being present in the moment there's the lion energy again that maybe it's your own inner lion of the wonder of the world being a child again so much energy about the lions and the children right because Leo is all about the kids your inner child is really coming out to notice the flowers and everything around you and carry the weight of the world on your shoulders like Noah's Ark and shifting your energy so that it's easy to do that and there's the 19 of the Sun and Leo again so whether you have Leo in your chart or you're dealing with Leo energy or just the energy of the child coming out in you which definitely you're seeing and then the renewal of peace I, this is one of my favorite cards in this deck how sweet is that and this nook in this tree is exactly like the tree in my front yard and that tree always reminds me of my mother so it's like me being that baby in my mother's nook but again just being that child again amidst all the little creatures you know like Cinderella and all of her little friends who help her out just being childlike again the renewal of peace the 13 of transformation which is Scorpio energy again so this is the energy for you of rebirth or dealing with a baby like we talked about earlier your baby or perhaps past babies or whatever it is for you your own inner child it's all about being the little kid again for you and the bottom of the deck is be spontaneous which is also being like a child the 31 is the energy of chaos it's that five of wands the energy the raw energy of the Sun coming in like a child that needs to be molded by you and transmuted by you in order to form something really wonderful as opposed to this discord between the king of Pentacles and the page of Pentacles to, for a harmonious union here maybe they're just more fiery and they'll resonate with you better or the mother better than the father 
It doesn't mean there's anything wrong with the parent's relationship necessarily. So be spontaneous with the uh, five of wands. Be playful, not aggressive. And then beneath that is clear out the old. So definitely the, the yard sale was definitely coming up because this is here, the five of freedom. So to free yourself more, to clear out the space, anything that's not serving you anymore, and be spontaneous, especially with children right now, right? To play and to let go of any other conflicts. And again, you're, the first card out for you was higher ground, taking the higher ground, letting go of conflict and no longer needing to fight, you know? Scorpio has that sting, so they have that natural instinct, but it's learning to get above that and beyond that and always be loved no matter what. So ultimately it's good. I don't know if you are the masculine here, Scorpio, who's showing kind of two sides of themselves and needs to reconcile between the sides of themselves. That can be the feminine as well, but it's really coming up masculine. And then you're seeing yourself as the inner child. So I don't know if you're dealing with a father or a boss or a brother or your own discrepancy within yourself and kind of just, you know, reconciling that. Anything that you've been before, whether you ever cheated before, whether you ever, you know, had a lack of integrity before, but it's getting past those blocks in yourself and dealing with other people and rising above. So there you go. I hope that was helpful. It's just 111 right now. So remember your water, your sleep, your joy in your nature and rise and be love. Love and raise. I see ya.